Let's talk about how to store your E and J lithium batteries. Properly storing your batteries when you're not using them is critical to keeping your batteries healthy and at peak Performa NCE when you start using them again. Most people use their lithium battery S seasonally, such as during the summer in an RV or on a boat. If you are one of those people, you must winterize your lithium batteries correctly so they remain healthy for the next season. Improper storage of lithium batteries may cause damage. The first step is to bring the battery S to at least a 50% state of charge. This is the most important step. Never store your lithium batteries empty. L-lithium iron phosphate batteries self-discharge about 2 to 3% a month. If you store your batteries empty, then they may discharge below the levels that can be protected by the BMS. If you plan to store your lithium batteries for an extended period of time, then it is best to charge you R batteries to 100%. Many RVs have components running in the E background such as the CO2 sensor backlit stereo or some other emergency sensor that may bypass the main disconnect switch. The best thing to do when storing the batteries is to physically disconnect the main positive E and negative wires from the lithium batteries. This will ensure that the battery is not being discharged while in storage. This step is not entirely required because the self discharge isn't significant, but it is recommend ed. Unlike lead acid, lithium iron phosphate batteries do not require trickle charger while in storage. E and J lithium iron phosphate batteries are maintenance free, so you don't need D to do anything else. If you have any other questions, please reach out to us, and we are always happy to help. We offer support. Thank you for watching.